Hi everyone, my name is Eka. In this video, we are building So today, we're gonna try to build this Yeah So this is a touch screen, a Raspberry Pi touch screen Yeah, you can touch it It's a Lego, it's made of Lego And here, you get the Raspberry Pi Raspberry Pi So the touch screen is over here you call your raspberry pie. Yeah, and the raspberry and pie is on the back. Longer. Initially, I wanted to create uh, a 3D printed case for this. But the problem is that my 3D printer can build only up to maximum 15 centimeters wide. And this screen is actually more than, more than 15 centimeters. So either I have to create a design that I have to split the case into two two parts and combine together and which is kind of double work and instead I got a great idea and tried to build it Lego first so that I know what exactly I need to uh, split the case so this video is about how to make this case stay tuned and watch the till the end <laughs> Right, so this is 7 inches Raspberry Pi touchscreen. Raspberry Pi touchscreen? Yes. So what I did was actually to build a base that looked like this. Yeah. Right, 6 by 16. And the same thing on this side. Basically, you just need to build a, a plate that can fit well actually to, to let the Raspberry Pi to stay in the middle like so okay so it's kind of a tight fit so be very careful when you try to put it in right because this is a delicate electronics it's a raspberry pi and then you start building uh, the case from here so let's start putting um, the edges one by one so let's start putting with okay you want to help you can put the corner. I will also. Yeah, we can try to put the, the bottom. Let's see. You have to start by Jeff. by putting the putting the top, bottom, left and right side, and then and then we can put the corner after that. How about that, Cindy? Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's start putting this one by one. Right there. It's right here. So if you see the snot over there, that's for um, there is a reason why we put the snot in there because you can put like any accessories. Like for example, if you put um, Lego minifigure, right? That would look cool, isn't it? Yeah. They have a Lego minifigure on top of the Raspberry Pi screen, right? Yeah, we got right. to break so, the screen. <laughs> top side is done. Now yeah. let's try to I cover. Get a you see that it's a perfect fit. You have a hammer and break the screen. What is that? <gasps> who, who is it? No, just Lego. Oh, just Lego. Did you watch it in a Lego movie? No. Or somewhere. Just Lego. Just Lego. Okay, so I put. All four sides, you can see here. So the screen is still moving. The screen is still a little moving. bit, yeah. It's not like really perfect, you know. It's <laughs> like I stick on. The corner is actually Daddy, I stick it it doesn't on. go in. I stick on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Cindy just put one corner. Other corner. Well, there's still missing piece here. You see, we just put the side here. And another one over here, and you can put the corner now. There you go, we got two corners, corner. and another corner over there. And the last one is four, four corners for the top left. There you go. Now we got a Raspberry Pi, a touch screen that looks like this. See that? Jeffrey. 
Now, there is one problem. There's one problem with this. The problem is that the screen still, you know, it can fall off. Okay, so we use Lego tile to hold the screen. Like so. And this side as well. There we go. Now we can try to put the corner. Yeah. Uh oh, it's taking off again. Okay, one corner is in. Second corner is there. And the other corner. Okay. Okay, it seems like the screen it keeps moving, so we try to fit it in again. Daddy. Hold on, Cindy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You have to fit the screen first in the middle and then we can we can put the corner, the last corner in. Okay, hold on. There we go. Corner and the last corner. All right, that's it. All right, I'm gonna try to swap this color. Right. That's red. Green over here, and that's it. Now, now the screen doesn't move. All right, so the key, important parts are actually the corners. They, they hold the screen. You know, like. To oh, stay in the middle. Screen. Yeah. Now let's continue the rest. So we put which one? This? Uh, no. Right there. Mm. Well, I don't want to see, I don't want to see the stud on that side. So I think we better put like all six right here. What do you think? No, they're just four. Yeah, all six start like that, and another start over here. Now let's swap. Let's swap this one for that, okay? And then this one here is here, and put it right there. There you go. And that's basically done for the front part. Right. Put the back. Yeah, that's done for the front front part. <laughs> right Not now, long. now we need pro we need to protect the Raspberry Pi on the back, right? It's still pretty open. You see that? So we got we got some of the rounded rounded brick. Rounded brick. Yeah, rounded brick. But you can put it right there. Now, now we're gonna put this other rounded here, other rounded brick. Here. Daddy, now do you put it? Okay, you guys can help me. There you go. That's enough, I think. Let's see. Let's see how many Jeffrey has. How many Jeffrey? Okay, one more. Just try to make both sides at the same the same count. Okay. There you go. Beep up, beep up. Beep up, beep up. What is this? Yeah, that's show, show again how do you say beep up, beep up, Jeffrey. Beep up, beep up, beep. Yeah. Okay, pay attention. Let's finish this. So, 
Yes. This will be the last part that we need to put in. And that's it. And that's and that's my friend is how to make the Apple Raspberry Pi case. Daddy, can I turn on? Hmm? How do turn on? No, we need to turn it on later, okay? Right now, we just show this first. There you go. And now we can remove this. And it looks really shiny. It looks like a tablet, right? It looks like your iPad. You see? It's just a, a, a bit cooler because it's made of Lego. There you go. Okay, now we already have the micro SD card with Raspberry Pi in there. Yeah. And we take this out. That's a micro SD card. Mm -hmm. Now here's the tricky. I took it off and I saw the number. Mm. So here's the tricky part. So in order to insert the micro SD card right there, you need to remove this flex cable. And you have to be very careful in removing it. Mm -hmm. There you go. I don't think I see the slot. There you go. I think it's in the slot right now. And you just need to slide it in. Okay. Slide in. Yeah. And then we put the LCD Close. LCD cable back. LCD cable back. And we lock it down. There you go. It's not gonna move anywhere. Yeah, it's not gonna move anywhere. Now it's ready. Okay. Wait till that off. There you go. Is it right? right there? Now let's plug in the power. So let's power it on. That's the switch. A rainbow. Yeah. That's the first screen when Raspberry Pi is booting up. You will see all of those rainbow colors. There you go. You see? You got a Raspberry Pi. Okay. With a desktop. See, same thing like uh, your Raspberry Pi. So it's a touch screen. I can check. I can choose the keyboard layout, the language is American English. Location is in Los Angeles. And there you go. And that's done. There you go. See? You got a Raspberry Pi desktop. Exact same like your desktop, right? On your computer, on your laptop. See that? Yeah. You can share your laptop over here. There you go. Exact same thing. Now, I have made something here that you basically can leave the screen like that. And you don't need to hold it anymore. See? Wow. All right, guys. So that's it for today. We're building the Raspberry Pi touchscreen case. It looks like a TV right now, according to Cindy. And I don't need to touch it. I don't need to hold it by hand. But if you want to remove it, then you can use it as a tablet. Right? And it looks yeah. touch screen. So you can, it's like a tablet. Yeah, it's like a tablet. It's really cool, right? Yeah. It's used by hand. Yeah, you can use your finger to touch. You don't need a mouse. Okay, so that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, please write it down, down below right there. Subscribe to our and channel. Yes, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Bye. 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 <laughs>